Hello everybody, I'm Swordmaster, and I decided to go with a little different format for these writing videos. You know, it's kind of like a draw my life, which I may or may not do sometime if you guys want to see that. But hey, let's talk about stuff. So last time, we just talked about the fine things you should know before writing. Now... This week I'm going to talk about just that big beginning because starting is a lot harder than finishing. Okay, so let's get on it. Okay, so starting a book. What a lot of people don't understand is there is a very specific way to go about it. And no two ways are going to be exactly the same. Some people prefer different methods, while other people just have their own thing. But every way just sort of has its own way of being good. And there are a few things that you should avoid, um, so you don't end up with a bad book. And so we're going to go over that. Okay. First thing. This is a big one. Unless your world has some form of magic, some cool science-y elements that you're going to need to explain in order to understand the plot, or something about the world or myth in general that you just really need to get out there. Don't begin with a prologue. Seriously, I can't stress this enough. Too many beginning authors just make this mistake. Yes, I know you have all these extra details and all these extra things that you want to tell the player. And it's all good. I mean, the reader. And it's all good and everything. And you can get that stuff out there. But if you need to weigh it down on an exposition dump, you're just killing them. And that's not a good thing to do. Really, the first chapter is where you're going to have to set up. Now what I usually like to do is I like to go in order of just setting the mood or the tone first. You know, something about the character, and if you can get that done in the first sentence, the better. Okay, character. And then usually something about the situation or situation. And again, somewhere in between all of this, you need to work in the setting. But of course, that's up and up to debate where you want to put that in. Naturally, if you are going to have something a little bit more elaborate and want to go for a prologue, more power to you. So anyway, to pretty much start, what's, the question is, what's the right amount of intensity to bring? Well, a lot of people, what you want to start is the graph that looks a little bit like this. So this should be your standard plot thing in which this is where you start, this should be your beginning, and then the rest of this is all plot, the hero going on their journey, all of that lovely stuff. Anyway, this spike right here, this is what piques their readers interest. This is the part in which they get hooked on the series with a little bit of build up. So yeah, this is your point of no return if you're going for the hero's journey, and this of course is your climax. Now, at the start, if you look at this, this part represents interest. Ugh, I can't write sideways. And depending, on, and depending on how you paste this out, ends a lot upon that. But right now, just with this one, it's good to usually start with some form of setting, just to get right here. You can't forget this gap because this is the point in which you make the player, the reader. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Love and <laughs> like your character, you gotta make you gotta make them love them. You gotta make them care. You gotta make them root for them, or not root for them. Maybe they're evil <laughs> or something. I don't know, but that point is right there. That's where you get the whole lineup and setup for your character. Now you can do this leading into this, but the exciting part is really the point in which the reader goes, "All right." So this is, these are the characters, this is the place that they're going in, let's go. So, 
So keep that in mind when you guys begin your first chapters. And comment below if you like this and let me know what you want me to do in the future. Who knows? We're, we have a world of possibility here. So might as well take advantage, right? Anyway, have a beautiful day, my duckies. And this is Swordmaster, signing out.